All right, Senator Mike Rounds, South Dakota Senator, joins us now. I can explain this, Senator, and I'm sure you can too. It's the media. The media is obsessed with impeachment and won't give President Trump credit for anything. I'm right, aren't I? Yes, you are correct, and they most certainly are uh, very much engaged in the impeachment process up here. But at the same time, you can't argue with some of the results we've had already. Look at what the markets have done. Yeah. Look at how the economy is moving. Look at the number of people that actually have jobs in the United States today that didn't have them earlier. And payrolls are actually rising. Those are all good things. We're actually, and we haven't even counted now on what's going to happen as we start to see the results in the commodity markets. Commodities haven't moved yet, and yet we've got uh, Japan now with an agreement on beef. We've got China with our phase one in effect, and the markets are waiting to see whether or not China actually buys. I think they're going to buy. I think they're going to need to buy. And uh, finally, we've got, uh, you know, the, the USMCA on the way now. So some very good things happening to start out the year. Did you see that poll? 83% of farmers very much approve of President Trump. 83%, that's a stunning number. Only 13% disapprove. My point in bringing this up, Senator, is the farmers stuck with the president. Even though at times it was rough on you guys, and South Dakota's a farm state, you guys stuck with him, didn't you? Absolutely. And in fact, that was the message I got time and time again back home is, is look, we understand that times are tough right now. We know the markets aren't the best. But you know what? This guy's on the right track. He's got the right idea on this thing here. We got to stick with him. It's going to get better, but we got to fix this stuff. Remember, he did help us when it came to the clean power plant. He cleaned up that mess. Uh, when it came to waters of the United States, he stuck up for rural America, and he understood that they really are the folks that are stewards of their own land. Uh, he's the guy that stopped uh, what was an Obama administration takeover of a whole lot of private property mm. when it came to using the Environmental Protection Agency. Now we've got new rules that are going into place that the ag communities have actually helped to write and to participate in. Farmers understand that the, that the future is very bright as long as we continue down this path. Mr. Senator, you're a good friend to the show, but I'm going to have to put a picture, a certain picture, up on the screen. I believe this is you, and you've got, you've got a stress ball there. <laughs> uh, okay, the is the next shot... Can we get him up there? Okay. I, I believe I've got a picture of you with a stress ball. I can't quite find it at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's you. Oh, and that's, now, uh, that's wrong. Me, You're not supposed to do that. Well, actually, what you saw, was, and I've got a one right here. I think this is what you're talking about. And oh, we, yeah. got him as a, we got him as a gift yesterday uh, at, our, at our noon lunch. And I had just come out of our noon lunch, and I had it in my pocket. And one of the folks that was there wanted to know, did you get those there? And I said, yeah, they came as a gift from Senator Burr. And uh, we were actually outside of our lunch at the time. And I think some people thought that we had these inside and we were playing with them inside the, the, uh, the, the Senate chambers. We weren't, well, but uh, I thought one of my grandkids kind of liked that as a gift. But it was chronically boring, wasn't it? I mean, let's be honest here. Well, one of, one of my staffers suggested that what this actually should say is, is we kind of went round and round with a lot of the same information <laughs> time and time again. And I said, you know, that's kind of appropriate. We've yeah. had um, 16 hours of it. Could have probably been done in about two and a half with the information they presented. Although uh, the the Democrat managers have said time and time again that they have uh, have overwhelming evidence. Uh, they still wanted to call more witnesses, but if they've got overwhelming evidence and they came here to impeach the president, we're just simply calling them on it and saying, okay, if you've got overwhelming evidence, you better lay it out because this is your opportunity. And remember, the president has not yet had the opportunity to respond. He has never had one single day, not one single hour in which he could respond to all of these accusations that have been made over the last number uh, of weeks. And so for us, we're going to give him that opportunity, and then I think we get back to work for the American people again. And that won't be boring. Senator Mike Rounds, <laughs> thank you for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. You Always. Bet. Thank you. Uh, now.